battle over personal protective equipment continues at the Broward Sheriff's Office. Today, it's a sanitizer scandal. And some are questioning, was a shipment of hand sanitizer delayed just so some custom labels could be put on those bottles? Local 10's Hatzel Vela is live with the latest on this one. Hatzel? Christy Louie, the sheriff says he did not know about the purchase, but there is an internal email that shows someone here at BSO wanted to buy the bottles with the logos, which delayed their delivery. The March 23rd email details the pricing of 10 ounce bottles and two ounce bottles of hand sanitizers. Officials at BSO are told there is a 22 day delivery time, 15 to 17 days without custom label. Here's just one of several pictures we have received from the infamous hand sanitizers with the BSO logo and the sheriff's name. Over the phone, we spoke to Tacey Behrens, the president and CEO of Hero Solutions, the company listed in the email. She confirms the legitimacy of the email, also tells us it would have been quicker to send them out without the logo, but to be fair, she says, only about five days. The company says BSO was one of the first law enforcement agencies to order hand sanitizers. No one, she says, was scrambling the way BSO was a month ago. If there was a delay in getting PPEs to the deputies, whether they be masks or hand sanitizers, that's problematic for all of us. On the background, you have an ongoing feud between the sheriff and the deputy's union president, Jeff Bell, who the sheriff recently suspended, causing outrage. On Tuesday, the Broward International Union of Police Association opened a ballot for a no-confidence vote against the sheriff. The sheriff says this is all political. We do not have time to play games with politics when we are in a major crisis. And again, a spokesperson for the sheriff says the sheriff was not aware of the purchase, that this was likely done at the district level. In fact, they say they had been looking and distributing hand sanitizers prior to this purchase. And they're telling us as well that the fire department was already making some of their own hand sanitizers. So the big question this afternoon is who gave final approval? A spokesperson here telling us they're looking into that. For now, reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News.